Hi there. Today, I wanted to talk to you about an important topic in cybersecurity called Cyber Asset Attack Surface Management, or CASM for short. CASM is all about managing an organization's attack surface to minimize security risks. It's a comprehensive approach to cybersecurity that focuses on understanding and controlling the potential vulnerabilities and insecure configurations within an organization's digital infrastructure. The attack surface includes all the different ways in which an attacker can gain unauthorized access to an organization's systems or network or data. And what makes up that attack surface are all the different digital assets and all the security details about them, which includes things like software and hardware, network infrastructure, uh, users that own those assets, and even the security controls and risks on those assets. Managing the attack surface is absolutely crucial. By actively identifying, mapping, and managing their attack surfaces, organizations can stay many steps ahead of cybersecurity threats. And that starts by knowing your own network better than the adversary, not the other way around. Now, the attack surface is not a static thing. It is constantly changing over time. With each new software update or network expansion or acquisition, the attack surface increases. And that is why continuous monitoring and maintenance are so important in CASM. So how does CASM work? Well, it involves a few key steps. First, there's asset discovery and fingerprinting. This helps organizations get a clear understanding of their digital assets, including software and hardware and vulnerabilities and so on. Next is vulnerability and insecure configuration assessment. This process involves identifying weaknesses and assessing the potential impact of those weaknesses. And then finally, there's attack surface mapping. This helps visualize the potential entry points and pathways that the attacker can exploit. This visualization is incredibly valuable for prioritizing security efforts to address the risks that the adversary is most likely to exploit. Implementing CASM has a few benefits. Once risks are identified and prioritized, organizations can implement attack surface management measures. This involves patching software or updating configuration or implementing stronger access controls, or even just outright, let's take that off the network, remove that unnecessary asset from the network. Continuous monitoring and maintenance are key to the success of CASM. By actively monitoring the attack surface, organizations can detect and respond to new risks promptly, making it harder for the attacker to find potential entry points. By doing so, an organization can become proactive about their defense. CASM also expedites incident response by providing a clear understanding of the organization's assets and risks, but most importantly, who owns those assets of asset ownership. And then finally, CASM helps eliminate data silos, which creates inefficiencies within organizations. By gaining a comprehensive view of the attack surface, organizations can make smart and informed decisions about how to allocate resources most effectively. So, to sum it all up, CASM plays a vital role in cybersecurity. It helps organizations to identify and prioritize risks effectively, shuts down potential attack vectors, and it minimizes the risk of successful attacks. By implementing CASM, organizations can enhance their overall security posture and resilience and get proactive about defense.